Hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I make food while I'm on my truck. So in this video, this video is going to be real raw and uncut. Of course, I'm going to edit it and cut off certain things like, you know, but for the most part, this is just me. This is just real raw and um, uncut. So today I'm going to be doing tuna steak with um, onions and Brussels sprouts. Not Brussels sprouts, I'm sorry. Um, asparagus. So, and with some coconut jasmine rice. So, let me move a few things out the way. This is real uncut, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I just want to start making this content to show people that it's possible to maintain a nice physique and be a trucker i have a six pack so a lot of people wonder like how do you keep a nice body and stuff like that and be a trucker and i'm like well you don't have to eat out every day as a trucker so so for my rice i typically use this coconut jasmine rice and you just pop this in the microwave and you're good to go so we can wait on doing that I have this little baby um, cooler, this little baby cooler in here. Y'all won't be able to see that part, but I can show y'all the tuna. It's wild caught, so of course, if your tuna is wild caught, it's gonna change colors. 1227, so yeah, we're good. So I have my um, tuna steak, wild caught. I only do wild caught. And let me angle this camera down just a little bit more. Just a little bit, a little bit more. All right. And I have my fresh asparagus, which is here. We're still good to go. It's still fresh. And I have my um, onion. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Um, the first thing I'm gonna cook is my tuna steak. I have kitchen scissors, which is right. And double bag them so let me go over everything I got real quick so once I start going I could just keep moving so I got my two regular Walmart bags it's double bag I have my rice here I have my my tuna steak I have air fryer liners because we will be cooking out of the air fryer I have some Ziploc bags, just in case I cut up a vegetable, which I plan on doing today. Cutting up a vegetable and I can put the remaining vegetable inside of here. So, all right, and our kitchen scissors, right? Our shears. Other thing is seasoning. So, today I think I'm just gonna do a little garlic parm and some garlic and herb with pepper and sea salt in it. So just pull this out, slide this out like so. I got my bag. So I know some people, they like to wash their meat. Me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, judge me if you want, judge your mother, but baby, I'm not doing all that, okay? I'm just not about to do all that. My whole philosophy is it'll cook when it's in the air fryer. So, and I have a brother who's a chef. I know a few people who are like professional chefs. If you eat out, I'm telling you now, just know that your food is not being washed. So if you're somebody who's like, oh, you need to wash that. Your, your meat ain't being washed 
at um, Ruth Chris and, and all these other places. So right now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chop this down. And like, I'm gonna chop this down in like small slices. You guys, this cooks just like um, actual steak. So, so if you haven't tried tuna steak, then I'm just here to let you know it cooks just like steak. So think of this meal as like steak strips, sort of speak. So um, let's chit chat a little bit while I do this. So how are you guys doing today? Um, I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today is actually Christmas. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but hopefully I'm able to upload it on Christmas. Yeah, so as I was telling you guys in my last video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I am doing regional and for my company, I don't know about y'all company, but my company, I'm over here stuck in Alabama, you guys. They do not have any loads for me. That's what the guy told me. There is no loads. So I am stuck here until... Um, until further notice so today is Christmas so I kind of understand that I might not be moving this truck until tomorrow it is what it is so but I hope you guys are having a good day shout out to all my truckers if you're on the road right now shout out to you guys um, I've been hearing that there was a pile up of north like off I-80 and I-94 there's like very bad weather in Colorado very bad weather in Chicago like hour delays every single route you take is like an hour delay I'm like oh my gosh but you know what I just want y'all to be safe I really wish and I know I'm a newbie okay but what I'll say is I'm a newbie to driving but I'm not a newbie to the trucking industry and what I would say is um, I'm gonna use this hand because I didn't touch any meat with this hand just get my paper towels. Um, what I would say is I really want you guys to be safe, like, and to prioritize your life and prioritize your your health. And you know, the load can wait. If you, especially if you have a family, the load can wait. Like, the load can wait because I would rather my husband make it home to me than you know you know just just me like like some of y'all not all of you guys and I understand having to do what you have to do but when you're carrying heavy equipment and the, the conditions of the road is not favorable just park that truck like it's okay just park that truck and wait it out even if it takes a day or two and you have to wait for um what is it called for the snowmobile like I was hearing yesterday from one of my trucker friends that somewhere up there somewhere up north um, a snowmobile got stuck I'm like a snowmobile got stuck he's like yeah a snowmobile so if a snowmobile a vehicle a vehicle that's meant for snow gets stuck why do you think that you stand a chance as a 18 wheeler like that, that just appalls me. So you guys, I'm going in now with um, the garlic parmesan. I just did the, um, the other one. I'll show you how this looks. I'll show y'all how this looks. I just grab my phone and come over here and show y'all how it looks. Also, I can get a little closer to the camera. Hopefully it's a good show. Okay, there we go. So that's one of the seasonings other seasoning I use um, the garlic parmesan both are very low on sodium which I absolutely love low on sodium guys we are watching our sodium so let me grab this with this phone I meant with this hand so this is how we're looking so far right just seasoned steak you guys so let me put that back up there to go as we good as we could all right we good all right so next thing i'm about to do is now i probably could do a lot better with this 
with this part but you guys I'm only human and I'm just doing the best that I very can I got my trash set up right here just throw that in there um I'm gonna take me uh, air fryer liner out these things are very good to use they look like this I'm just gonna take my air fryer put this lining in and I'm just gonna put my steak in here That's how we're looking. So I'm just gonna put it in the air fryer. I guess truck is about to cut on. I believe. Yep, truck is on now. So, like I was saying, let me turn the heater down so y'all can hear me. Like I was saying, um, just be safe out there, you know. Like me and my me and me and one of a close friend of mine, we were joking about like super truckers. <laughs> and basically by super truckers, we mean like people who don't really know when to shut it down. Like you gotta know when to shut it down. Like know when to shut it down. Because if you don't know when to shut it down, you gonna end up killing yourself or killing somebody else. Like, you just gotta know when to shut it down, you guys. So I'm taking me a night. I know some people in the comments probably like, oh my gosh, cross-contamination. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. If you're one of those people, please click off this video, okay? <laughs> click off this video. I'm making sure I swipe my hands. I understand it's not a sink, but maybe this is trucker lifestyle, so this ain't nothing I do is gonna be pretty or conventional because I'm not in a home, I'm in a truck, and I'm doing the best that I'm very can right now. So right now I'm just slicing up my onion in the same bag. Yep. In the same bag. This is how I choose to do it. You guys can choose to do it your way. But this is just me sharing you got sharing like a cooking vlog with you guys show y'all like a real example of like yeah how it how trucking can look so if you're planning on getting into trucking and you're not gonna be eating fast food every day then this is your future <laughs> that's kind of funny but this is your future so right now I'm just cutting it into very thin slices steak already smells good you guys so i'm just cutting it into very thin slices because after my steak is like mostly done i'm just gonna throw some onion in the air fryer so i can have like the steak and onion type of thing you know you guys by no means would i ever cook like this at home but like I said, I'm on a truck, so I'm going to do what is comfortable for me. And best believe, the cleanup is immaculate. Like, I clean up very well. I'll show you guys that after I finish everything. So I've um, sliced all my onion. And this is why I was saying to go ahead and take out your Ziploc bags because I already know off the bat most of this onion I'm not about to use. I love onions, but I'm not about to use all these onions. Let's see, what's another topic we can talk about? So if you're an owner operator and you just now got into it, let me know how it's working out for you because I just keep hearing you guys I'm trying to fight this uh, this crying that's coming on 
But I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about um, owner operator, especially right now, like the current uh, climate that we're in, I guess you could say. And it's not just coming from people who are like owner operator haters, I guess you could say. It's coming from a lot of different people. Like even owner operators themselves are talking about just how like, you know, just how the fright, the freight and the rates are not the best right now. And a lot of owner operators are having to like sell their trucks and all type of stuff. Like, it's crazy. So if you're an owner operator and you're watching this video, let me know how um, that's working for y'all. Like, is it is it really that bad right now? Is are people exaggerating or what? Like, what's up? naysayers who don't believe that you can cook steak in the air fryer. You see how crispy that is? I honestly feel like that's a little overcooked. I'm going to take this knife, the same knife I use to cook my, um, I mean to cook, cut my onions. I'm going to take that and just move the steak around. So I honestly feel like that's kind of overcooked. Don't judge me, but it's kind of overcooked. But I'm just moving it around to get the steak that's underneath, that's not quite cooked. And I'm going to put that at the top and then I'm going to put this back in the air fryer. And instead of doing it for five minutes, I'm going to I'm gonna maybe put it on three minutes because I like my steak like, well I only eat seafood, but I like my tuna steak like, uh, what would they call it, like a, medium well I don't like it well done I like like a medium well like, I don't want it to be like rubber when I bite into it like, I don't want it to be like rubber so. but I don't want it undercooked either so all I'm doing is just putting the uncooked steak to the top and I'm going to throw it back in the air fryer this time I am not going to cook it that long because I don't want my steak overdone. Like, you know, we can't have no overdone steak. That's what we can't have. We cannot have no overdone steak. That ain't okay. So I'm still on 400. I'm going to put it on three minutes this long. That five minutes felt like forever. All right, so while that's cooking, while that's cooking, I got my onions still in here waiting for me. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my asparagus. And asparagus is something that needs to be like cooked, like not, you don't need to take forever to cook asparagus. That's what I'm trying to say. So, ugh, all right. So in that very same bag that I've done everything else in, yes, everything else in, I'm going to lay my asparagus and then I'm going to cut about, I'm going to cut about this much off. So I'm going to leave this much. Okay. So I got my scissors. So I'm just going to cut that much off and leave the rest of the asparagus. And I'm just going to do that to every single asparagus. Because I don't know if you guys have ever cooked asparagus, but if you keep the whole stalk, stalk, or I think that's what it's called, the stalk of, a, of the asparagus, like it does, like it, it won't cook that well. Like it'll be really hard. If you guys enjoy videos like this, if you have any suggestions as far as like content or better ways to film um, cooking content, then let me know. But this isn't really like, this isn't like, it's a cooking video, but it's not really like, here, let me show you how to cook. It's more like a cooking vlog, like, hey, let's talk. So 
I'm just going to move this around again. Just make sure all of my steak got, you know, got zipped by the air fryer. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those onions. So the little amount of onions that I have in here, I'm going to just take them and put them in there all at the top. Yeah, like I was saying, this isn't really like a let me, you know, like a let me teach you how to cook video. Now I could do videos like that, but that's kind of boring. Like, it's kind of boring to me. I prefer like a vlog style. But you guys just let me know what y'all. And don't give me your opinion if you didn't subscribe. Like, if you're not subscribed, I'm gonna check and see if you subscribe. If you try to give me your opinion and you're not subscribed, I'm gonna walk because how you gonna give an opinion and you're not subscribed? Like, so I got my onions on top. You guys can see that. Put that back in the air fryer and I'm gonna turn it on a little lower, so like 250, 250 Fahrenheit. And I'm just put that for like three to three to four minutes. So. I got my scissors right here. Go ahead. This is not me cleaning the scissors. This is just me wiping the scissors for now. Just to get whatever residue that was on there off of it. Which at this point is just a little asparagus shaving and stuff. Same thing I'm going to do with the knife. I will show y'all how I actually clean it. So I'm just going to sit that there and sit it on my actual board. So I'm going to clean everything once I get done. And I'm just going to put my asparagus in there. I got them kind of separated from the stalk. Now you guys, I don't have any cooking oil. So I'm aware like cooking oil makes everything better, but I don't have any cooking oil. I know, that's like what the hell, no cooking oil. Nope, I don't have any cooking we're just gonna have to thug it out. We have to do what we have to do, right? <laughs> so, that's that. My steak and stuff gets done. I'm gonna take it out and put it on here. And what I love most is that the steak is tender, like it's not overcooked. I do not like overcooked steak, you guys. I know I keep saying that, but I mean it. Like I know, like a lot of people in my family, like they they want their steak like rubber. But like, I just feel like you can't really enjoy steak. And granted, this is tuna steak, but it's a similar concept. Like, you can't really, and, and I do have like a spatula and a spoon and everything, you guys, but this is just what's more convenient right now, as far as getting this food out of this knife. But like I was, now y'all know what I'm about to do next. I'm about to just throw these um, asparagus in there. I got my steak here, you guys. Um, 
this is how I like my steak to look. Your steak can look how you want it to look, maybe. But me, I do got a few like charred pieces, and that came from the first time that I put it in there, and it was in there a little too long. So this is how we looking with the steak. How we looking with this steak? It's so good. It tastes amazing. The texture is perfect. So give me a second. All right, you guys. So I got that rebooted. So all that means is that there's too much electric charge going on right now. So I'm just gonna wait before I warm up my. I'm gonna wait before I warm up my um, rice. I'm just gonna wait until my asparagus is done first before I warm up my rice, which is fine. So asparagus looking good. Cooked down. That looks totally different from when it went in there. So it's cooked down. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop it back in there for a few extra minutes, and then I'm gonna add the seasoning. So maybe like five, three, three more minutes. We're almost about to eat. It's gonna be so good. So here's my garlic parmesan seasoning. I'm just take this out and sprinkle it on my asparagus generously. It's only 65 milligrams of sodium per 1 4 tablespoon, so that's a lot better than most. Um, so I just sprinkled it on my asparagus. Now I'm going to crank my air fryer up to 450, and I'm about to just let that just cook on it good. guys so I'm back so I'm gonna take this um, bottle this mixture bottle that I got a cleaning solution I made this myself I'm gonna take a few napkins and check on this make sure it ain't burnt oh we good baby that's that seasoning is sticking on there baby Continue letting that cook. And yeah, we good to go. I don't want my asparagus burnt. As y'all can tell, I don't like burnt food. So, put that right there. I'm going to get me a fork. Plastic forks, y'all. I'm all about the plastic. <laughs> Sorry, Mama Earth. But your girl, it's just plastic just makes everything easier. And I would get a spoon, but for right now, I'm just going to scoop this out. So I can show y'all the finished product. After I finish everything. Take that air fryer lining that really does the trick and just dump that out. I'm just going to let the air fryer cool off for about 20 to 30 minutes, just enough time to eat my meal, and then I'll clean out my air fryer. So now I'm just going to warm up that rice since I'm done using my air fryer. I don't have to worry about it inter interrupting the energy.
Y'all, this is gonna be, oh my gosh, this is just, this is gonna be amazing. I'm sorry. Coconut, jasmine rice. I'm gonna empty a little out, but I'm gonna eat the whole thing. But just for the sake of showing you guys how everything turned out. Okay, because I wouldn't lie to y'all. I'm gonna put this back in the microwave for now. Cause I might tell y'all a joke, but I'll never tell y'all a lot. Okay. Last thing we're gonna do, you already know. I got the honey teriyaki sauce, you guys. The honey teriyaki. Okay. Mmm. See that plate? Like, y'all see that asparagus? That steak? And that rice? Hold on. Hold on. Maybe y'all, maybe, maybe y'all can't see it. Let me bring y'all in close. Let me bring y'all in close. So maybe y'all couldn't see it from back there. Do y'all see that? This is on a truck version though. On a truck. On a truck, you guys. So, this was a long video. I'm likely gonna crop it down. Skip me a cheap thumbnail. I wasted something on myself. Let's get that. But do y'all see this food? see this food thank you guys so much for to close out this video your girl is ready to eat okay thank you guys so much for watching this video i really enjoy your viewership let me know what else y'all want to see me cook i mean i'm only pescatarian so i only do seafood so if y'all want to see like this is so rude but i'm sorry chef's dish y'all want to see me cook some other stuff let me know and i will cook it as long as it's seafood i don't do like crab mussels i do basically shrimp and fish mostly thank you guys so much for watching this video until next time you guys bye